So what are you getting for your money when you decide to spend $700 of your money on a KitchenAid professional 5 or 6 quart adjustable speed pedestal kitchen food mixer. In this video I'm gonna focus on design more than anything because design dictates functionality. What you can see here of course drying on the sofa are the components, the frame components and uh, the other parts are on the table over there. Let's get started here. All of the components are made of metal. That's good. There's barely any plastic and if, it, if there is it's usually limited to handles and such things so they are, they are not structural items. That's good stuff. All of the metals used in this one are non-corroding. There's not a sign of corrosion anywhere. That, that's also good. They are either painted or, or painted and cast aluminum. They're heavy. And heavy is good. You need stability for the mixer. You don't want this mixer to uh, tip over. It's, it's top heavy. It's oscillating as it's working. And uh, you don't want any instability. Yeah, because uh, you don't want any accidental tip over. So, all the pieces are heavy and non-corroding metal. Nicely, neatly painted. Alright, that's the end of the good news. Not a bad news. This is a stupid design. The pieces are, the, the frame is made of many pieces. Where the pieces are joined together, food and dirt accumulates. Around here, a thick crud of flour and cooking oil vapors condense and they form a wonderful crust everywhere. Some of it is still around. Uh, let me see. Yeah, they they look like that yellow crust that's everywhere there, and it's not easy to remove it. And uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck trying to keep a safe and sane hygienic kitchen with a design that has many nooks and crevices and uh, little hiding places for foodborne diseases and bacteria. The pedestal grinder has this part here of course and it is and it is a sliding mechanism. This part that holds the food bowl is sliding up and down here. So all of this is clogged up and with thickly crusted food crap. Just just everything. There's no way to get rid of the food crust other than you have to take it apart, all apart, like this, and go in there with a nail brush or whatever you have and yeah, you'll spend hours cleaning on this. The castings on these ones are also crudely made, meaning they have huge burrs, lips where food stuff can accumulate. It was all just disgusting, the whole thing on the inside. At, at some points I filed it a little finer, so it's collecting less, like around here with a, the huge casting burrs and lips and, and some of them are still on it. So all of these points, all of these little recesses, everything collects food as well as of course these sliding panels here or uh, pieces and, and of course this uh, item here that proudly displays the brand and everything. The back side of it now is impeccable clean but it was disgusting beyond belief and you kind of have to remove this because that wraps around the casing for the upper half and then that's where some of these screws are placed so it has to come off and it's disgusting all right a better design can be seen although a gapless or jointless design cannot be achieved but a better design is seen here and uh, look at that, it's, it's, it's got a nice rubber gasket, nothing can get inside on the top. 
it's got one pivoting point here and there are no features that collect dirt on it like look at that it's, it's almost smooth everywhere and uh, so this one is a lot easier to clean this one is a professional grade food mixer and uh, realistically the KitchenAid uh, yeah not quite however you still get a good mixer for your money's worth I'm just saying it's a stupid design the lower part of the of the of the upper casing is is also full of vent holes and openings where food particles flour anything that's dusty will float in and fly in as well as the carbon brush dust will fly out into your food as you can see that the black stuff the black residue is to be cleaned up and is the carbon dust from the motors uh, carbon brushes here is the motor and there is carbon brushes generating this dust continually other than that it's got metal components like I said nice gears and whatever and these gears when they are worn uh, such as oops, such as this here well, just wait for the camera to focus a little bit there when it's badly worn and pitted like this these pieces are widely available and not too expensive five dollars ten dollars whatever they're not too expensive the motor is uh, seventy dollars a hundred dollars that's nice so that gets me thinking so if the most important part in it the motor is a hundred dollars this is five bucks five bucks three bucks five bucks whatever everything uh, the circuit board which was dead on this is thirty two dollars so what costs on this one seven hundred that baffles the mind but anyhow that's uh, that's the situation uh, you you can see some of this food mess on it this oily sticky yellowish uh, residue where the cooking oil vapors uh, condensate on these surfaces yeah it's just disgusting thoroughly everywhere everywhere it gets on the inside so that's that's not the lubricant that was applied on the gears no no that's extra stuff that gets in from through those vent holes and everything so that's basically in a nutshell it's uh, it's not a totally bad mixer it's just a stupid design it uh, it could be improved upon by bounds and leaps